hey guys welcome back to the channel and today's topic uh, is another interesting scenario uh, and the reference of this i got it from uh, another youtube content which is uh, they resolve it through the sequel okay so by seeing that i just think up like let's try the same functionality whatever you can do in the sequel let's do it directly in the power bi right so basically the issue here is that or the use case is that so we have a uh, table this is my input okay so let's just imagine that there is a cricket match is going on and uh, both the teams are playing and we are just maintaining a uh, record for each and everything okay so the india sri lanka is the india is the winner sri lanka australia australia is the winner like that each and everything this is my input table okay what my output would required is this okay so here i can say the team name india so he played number of matches to if you see this one match he played here and second match played here so number of matches played to how many wins each and every with the first record you see winner is india this is also india so it is two and the what are the number of losses this is zero right so this is my expected output i want to achieve in power bi and this is my input okay since it's a very small set of data i'll just simply copy this data okay and i'll go to the power bi and click on the enter data and i'll just paste here okay simple because it's a very simple data only okay and uh, i can say world cup something like that the table name right world cup something now load the data and it is okay now go to the data tab here and just check the each and every data type because we have manually uploaded so it is text just text this text which is all right now <clears throat> how to resolve this so basically what exactly i will uh, do that is that i will compare team 1 with the winner okay so if the team 1 equals to winner then i will put a flag called 1 and if it is not true then i will give a flag called 0 and from there i will uh, create a table for the team first team and same i will do for the team number 2 and will compare with the winner and i will create a second table then finally i will do a union then we will see the data okay so let's let's do that okay so from this table i will start creating a table okay so let's create a table i say first team okay i'll say uh select column because i want to select com some column from the world cup table and along with i will create a new column that will be added up here okay so select columns i say world cup okay what are the columns i need from here let's see comma then i need the first column which is called the team 1 which is nothing but your excel file right this is my team 1 i need the team 1 first okay so i say that i am giving a heading first i say team name then my column name okay i say world cup team 1 this is my first column on this table second i want to create a win flag column here win flag okay which is a condition i need to put if team 1 okay team 1 equals to winner then i want to represent as 1 and else it will be 0 okay so this is my first table which i am creating the first name so if you see this here india 1 and everything rest is 0 why because if you see the go to the world cup table so for the first if you see the first records right team 1 equals to winner this is the only record it is satisfying otherwise if the first team sri lanka the winner is different in the south africa the winner is different england the winner is different in first team australia the second team is the winner so that's why 
in the first stream we are getting only for the one flag equals to one and others are the zero all right so let's just copy this and we'll create a new table again and let's copy that and i'll just rename this table as second team so the changes would be here is that first it will take the team name from the team two and compare with the team two okay now if you see here here again india will come it is india equals to one because in one of the record india is winning but that is under the team two so that's why i created two teams actually so that i will get all the records with each and every win flag okay now what i'll do i will create another table here which is called the teams okay and i will do simple a union of my team one or the first team and my second team okay now see here everything we are getting see australia zero and australia one more time he is winning okay india one and another india will be there india one okay so now this is the base table which we find it uh, to achieve our target here okay now let's go to the reporting layer and start fetching the data from the teams table okay because so this is the my table but i derived this table okay now create a matrix oh sorry table all right now let me do some formatting okay first of all bring the team name okay so let me do some little bit size so that it will be clear something and the column header also okay that's it now team name is fine team is this is fine now i will say first i want to calculate what is my output here so first i need to calculate the number of matches played okay so i say i will create a measure here number of matches played okay which is nothing but my count rows count rows of what count rows of my team teams or whatever the table i have how many records i have that much only i needed here okay now bring this column to the table we'll get the required output here see australia played two matches england played two matches india played two matches new zealand one south africa one and uh, sri lanka also played two matches here okay let me little bit on the value side also it will be really clear yeah so this is enough now what is the next column we want to put it here the number of wins right number of wins nothing but we have already have a win flag here and it is a integer value right so we just need to sum up that one okay sum of win flag we'll get the and just rename this as number of number of wins right <clears throat> see number of matches uh, played two number of wins one num england played two number of wins one india plays two number of wins two okay now we need to calculate the number of loss it is very straightforward right i say number of loss or losses whatever may be number of loss yeah so i say uh, number of matches played minus since i don't have any uh, column called number of wins so it is just a sum of win flag so you can create your uh, another measure called the number of wins also which using this formula sum of win flag that is also fine now enter it okay now bring this column number of losses here so now let's see so exactly now we have able to achieve whatever you have created see 
whatever the expected output here it is there this is the same way we got here okay so this is the way one of the requirement which can be helpful so here what have we done it we used couple of things the first we created using the select columns and how you can specify the condition based on the table then we we'll learn about the union also union is something like it will combine the tables right multiple tables suppose you have you can combine with that okay and finally we expected the output which we are planning to put up okay hope you like this video do subscribe to this channel for this kind of content with real time scenarios and uh, and and have a good day thank you